My buddy Tom Harris has joined me here at the desk and uh, you're looking around, you're seeing things. Tell me that things are going to change. <laughs> Why, you want some cool temperatures because <laughs> it's January? Yeah, and that it's going to actually at some point feel a little bit like well, maybe winter in South yeah, Texas. Well, yeah, winter in South yeah. Texas. Well, that'll happen this weekend. Won't okay. happen today. Not today. Probably won't happen tomorrow. Okay. Till tomorrow afternoon. All right. That's when that front's going to come in. Right in the middle of the old weekend. Absolutely. There. But, you know, we've had a nice couple of days out there. We're seeing some fog out there. Visibility not too difficult, but just use some caution as you are heading out on the roadways. We are watching a big storm system coming in from the west, and it's already been impacting parts of the four corners. This is what it looked like yesterday in Santa Fe, New Mexico. The snow coming down there and we've got some of that across parts of North Texas also. Right now here in Corpus Christi, we're at 70 degrees with some cloudy skies. Winds are out of the east southeast at 10 miles per hour. Most of our temperatures still in the 70s to upper 60s. That's where we should be for our daytime highs. We're also seeing a lot of moisture out there there. The fog has dropped the visibility. Well, they've improved a little bit down to about three miles. Naval Air Station Port A7 in Kingsville. So we do still have a dense marine fog advisory for our bays and offshore waters. That's going to go through lunchtime. Light winds this morning, anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour. They'll pick up a little bit this afternoon with the sea breeze, but then right around 2 to 3 o'clock tomorrow. That's when the front's coming in. Winds are going to shift to the north. It's going to be ushering in some cooler temperatures. Could see some showers and thunderstorms along with it, but I don't think we're going to see a whole lot. Most of the heaviest rain should stay down to our south. We are seeing some of the snow, freezing rain up in the panhandle this morning. Showers and thunderstorms here, but uh, here in south Texas, as we head throughout the day, just isolated showers, most of the bigger thunderstorms to our north. That front will come in tomorrow. I think the heaviest rain will be down in the valley and the future tracker also picking up on that. Not much wet weather today, but a scattering if we do see anything less than a tenth of an inch of rain. Could get an inch or two, however, down in uh, south near the border. Here is that cooler air looking at those temperatures in the 30s off to the west. So this is a pretty impressive winter storm. Got the freezing rain here. You got the snow right up across parts of Kansas and Nebraska another little storm system coming in from the west. Now this uh, is going to be impacting much of the country over the weekend. That's going to be pushing on out. We'll see a little bit of clearing as we head into Sunday and Monday. The showers come back for the middle part of the week. Some frigid temperatures up across the northern part of the nation. Here's a look at our forecast for today. Cloudy Warm, a high of 76 degrees tonight. Showers possible overnight low 65 degrees. Your seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. Windy showers changes Saturday afternoon. Cooler will be in the upper 50s Sunday. Martin Luther King Day looks pretty good about 62 degrees. Then those showers will be returning as we head into next week.